Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Seattle Neighborhood Patrol with Jay Pay. All right, yeah, today was kind of sunny, uh, no rain, so it's gonna be really cool out there, man. All right, let me give you a little update on my uh, last mind bender, last mind bender minimalist lifestyle. Easier said. <laughs> Than done. Okay. Or easier done than said, I should say. Here we go. These guys are about three weeks old. And they are looking really good, man. This is indoor farming. Experimental. I'm still new at this. You too can do this, man. Sort of seeds online. And order the soil. I showed you my soil. Look at that man. It's expanded way over here. These guys are two days old. Yep. Two days old. In about a week I'll probably be able to start harvesting them. Yeah man. And uh, stuff air drying over there. Like I told you. I don't use uh, the washing machine. I just soak stuff in... Water, buckets full of uh, cold water. All right. Okay. And like I said before, if uh, you guys uh, enjoy the video and find it useful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so we can grow this community and uh, Mr. Whoopins can start really doing some crazy videos, man. <laughs> All right, man. See you out in the neighborhood. <laughs> Three pounds heavier and the girls honk more. And the boys are quiet. So the boys are bigger. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yep, exactly, exactly. It's the opposite. Yep. Yeah. All that the quacking right there, that's the uh, uh, mallard hens. Yep. They love to the quack. Well, you know they're uh, they're more robust and uh, and they're uh, more uh, they're bigger, so they got more confidence. I saw a video uh, the other day. Um, Mother Canada geese was with her jostlings, and she was uh, uh, walking around foraging. And all of a sudden, uh, uh, she she flew in the air and hit something, and they showed a slow motion. She intercepted a hawk attacking her jostling. I couldn't believe it. She just rammed the hawk and prevented the attack. Yeah. It blew my mind when I saw it. Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's uh there's quite a few ducks with injuries here. This one uh, mallard hen, she's uh, a hybrid She's a brown and she's got a white plumage in the chest. She was limping like crazy and I looked at her. She had a fish hook on her on her uh, fl exactly. flippers. Hey, you should tell people not to fish if you see them fish. Actually, that's a more important thing to tell people not to do. Because the, I, I saved a baby duck, got the hook, and the people were just standing there letting the baby duck drown. I pulled it out of its mouth and took it. But people that fish, it gets, it hooks them. They leave the hooks, it gets in the ducks. Yeah, you got, there, there should be a, that should be the rule, is no fishing in this lake, because it's dirty, and it hurts the wildlife. Yeah, she's still limping, but I got the hook out and the fishing line untangled, and uh, and I've been feeding her, like, for two weeks now, and she's not limping as much. Wow. Yeah, she's beautiful, too. She's solid, deep brown, and white plumage. She's like a, a hybrid mallard tan. Yeah. But uh, I got the fish, fishing hook and line off of it. Years ago, they were, so yeah, they were, they were fishing, and then they were just standing there while the mother duck was going crazy. And hurt That's the insane. Baby, the yellow baby. That is like, insane. Week, two weeks old, and it yeah. was drowning, and it had the hook, and they were, they were just holding the line, wow. like not doing anything. That's, that's I crazy. I jumped in the water. I jumped oh. in the water. 
you know. And I grabbed the baby, uh, and then I knew that I would, ha and I was like shaking because I didn't wow. want to hear yeah. it. Wow. So I, I pushed it in. Wow. Yeah. I went like that and pulled it out. No blood, nothing. Like, Jeez, that is awesome. Like I did it perfectly. You know, I, uh, something similar happened to me in Puget Sound. Yeah. I was uh, over there uh, just uh, walking around, enjoying the weather. Uh, with the with his father fishing and he yeah. kept yelling and kept kept messing with his pole and, and his dad was laughing at him and I went over there and looked he hooked a baby seal about this big it was a white baby seal and he couldn't get the hook off of it and it was bleeding and I, and his father was laughing and you know what I did I walked in the water about this deep and I grabbed the baby seal and I unhooked it and I released it and it swam to its mother and and and, and it? No, it wasn't. Uh, after I, I took the hook off, it stopped bleeding. Yeah. But uh, uh, but hit, hit the little boy and their father, they were laughing. And I was like, you guys shouldn't be laughing at this, man. And, and I was all soaking wet and it was cold. Oh but God. so I had a similar situation. Oh but uh, but yeah, it's, but uh, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, the baby seal was uh, saved. Yeah. It was like this big, so pure white. Oh. And his mother was oh. waiting for it out, out like tw 30 feet out. And uh, I had to do what I had to do, you know, seriously, awesome. yeah. Yep. That is awesome. So a similar situation, yeah. plus a uh, mallard hen. I, you know, yeah. I was so, I, I kind of regret what I did, because I wanted to let the baby duck go, but then I thought, you oh, know, maybe I should take it back to the, make yeah. sure it was okay, because I didn't want it to just, but I should have just released it back, but yeah. either way, you know, they, they raised it and released yeah. it, but yeah. still, it's like I feel bad about, you know, I'm yeah. with their babies. I hear you. You did the perfect thing. You did the perfect thing. You yeah, did the I perfect thing. Go, yeah. Now they're starting to come in. Yeah. Exactly, absolutely. Like, I'm out here, I, I feed squirrels yeah. and uh, I feed uh, rabbits, I feed everything. Early in the morning there's a whole bunch of rabbits out here. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, so you know, it's it's uh, it's wildlife and uh, you know, uh, it's winter time, you know. If you like uh, watching people feed animals, I got a little YouTube channel I started. It's called uh, Last Mindbender. And my name is Jay Pay. J E is the first name. P A E is the last name. I got a whole bunch of videos of me feeding all kinds of wildlife. Oh, cool. So just get on YouTube, The Last Mindbender, J Pay, and you'll see all my videos. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, that when I rescued that baby seal, that was my moment of glory. I mean, I was soaking wet and I was cold, but I felt so good. Yeah. Man, and when I turned around, the father and son was like laughing and they couldn't figure out why I did it. And I just sat there, shook my head, and I was like, oh man. That's just sick. I was like, mind blown. What, what a bad bad example the father is setting for, her, for his son, you know? Yeah. His son was like seven years old, too. I'm glad I went over there and investigated because his son was like yelling and screaming and he kept yanking on the hook. And I was like, that's not good. And I went in the water. At first, his, his, his father was like, what are you doing, dude? He was like, you can't be doing that. I was like, uh, yes, I can. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. He was afraid. I might, he, the father was afraid I might break the line. He said, like, don't break this line. I was like, dude, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I need to break this line, I'm going to break it. Yeah. <laughs> they're so funny, you know. They uh, uh, they they can't they can't speak our language, and uh, they don't have hands. So the only thing they can do is they can peck on you. If they peck on you, that means they like you. Yeah. That's duck sign language. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're so funny. Yeah. I see a lot of them limping nowadays. Yeah, whenever I see them limping and, and I see a fishing hook, I always get it off of them. But, uh, yeah, especially the females. I don't know what's going on with them. Ooh, look at the flight action. Yeah, 
And also, you know that uh, 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 the duck mating is really violent? Yeah. Uh, the, the males basically uh, 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 surfboard the females on the back, and they bite down on the neck. It's violent. So a lot of the uh, 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 hens, the, uh, the mallet hens, they get injured from the mating. Yeah. There might be something in that building. Well, you might have some luck over there. Okay. Here. Here. Here's some fresh stuff. Put both hands up. Put both hands. There you go. There you go. Thank you, sir. No problem. <laughs> he just kept going on and on and on. And then I had to, I had to start ignoring him. Yeah, he just he just kept going on and on. He was like, I'm a wildlife biologist. Did you hear him? Yeah. He goes, I'm a wildlife biologist. I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like if you're gonna go, you know, something where. They're in the city, they're in our territory. Yeah. It's, it's our responsibility yeah. to make sure exactly. they're Exactly, I hear you. They're already pooping. Did you hear what he told me? He told me to clean up the duck poop. I know. He goes, are you going to do that clean up duck poop? I'm like... But no, but he had uh, nothing to say when I said <laughs> the fishing. I said, yeah. if you really want to tell, you know, like, make something yeah. good happen, don't let people fish yeah. and tell people... Most of these uh, uh, waterfowl, they get injured from the fishing. Yeah. Yeah. It's brutal. Sheesh. Yeah, no, it's, it's yeah. horrible. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's just like... What? You are such a mom. I yeah. Like you. I hear you. So cocky, yeah. And you just think you freaking own everything. Yeah, and he started cursing. Did you hear him? He started using curse words. I was like, okay. Really? Yeah, I was like, you're a wildlife biologist, and <laughs> now you're using curse words? I was like, because I, I heard biologists. I didn't hear wildlife, so I wasn't sure what kind of biologist he was saying. He's saying he's a wildlife biologist, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, what are, what, what are you trained from YouTube? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like yeah, <laughs> certification from YouTube. People, yeah. <laughs> people, like people, you just can't believe anything that people say, like in that kind of scenario. Because they just want to instantly give themselves, you know what I mean? They like, want to make themselves sound like they have authority. Yeah. It's all a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> he's, probably hey. just, he's probably just like literally just a computer programmer. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Any programs for like National Geographic or something? <laughs> I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. <laughs> hey, you were really cool the way you talked to him, though. Yeah. When you talked to him, he started quieting down. I was like, hey, uh, this way you know what she started doing. <laughs> yeah. And when you uh, told uh, him that story about you rescuing that uh, uh, the duckling, uh, 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 the duckling um, uh, I, I had to tell you about me rescuing the baby seal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this, this baby seal was the cutest baby uh, uh, seal I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. Pure white. Uh, it, was, it was real chubby, about this big. And, and it was squeaking. It was squeaking. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah. And I, I was like, I don't care if I drowned, I'm going to save that baby seal. And I went in there. <laughs> as soon as I let it go, it swam to its mother. But when it was swimming, it was limping. It was like, it was like wobbly swimming. And I was like, man, I hope that mother can uh, uh, take care of her. Yeah. And the mother, like, got her uh, in her flippers and started take, carrying her out. And, uh, and her mother was waiting for her, but she was too scared. But, yeah, uh, 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 that, that father was setting a bad example. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Jeez. Yep. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's that's the number. That's the red flag sign yeah. when a child or a teenager uh, 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 abuses animals, yeah. especially if they kill them, like uh, like local cats and stuff. Yeah. That's the classic sign of a sociopath yeah. slash serial killer uh, in the making. Yeah, and so that's yeah. in the micro world, but like in the macro world, you look at a society, and a society that 
will exploit animals and do that. You don't think it's going to not turn on its people? It's going to, 100%. Yeah, absolutely. That's why, you, that's why, it's, that's why history is always dealing with genocide. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, like, if, yeah. You don't respect any, if you don't respect life in its multiple forms, yeah, you know, absolutely. why would you respect humans? Yeah, exactly. Like, now, yeah. Like, yeah, now you're preaching to the choir. Like, why would you yeah. You know, uh, the key word is empathy. empathy yeah. if, you, if you have compassion and empathy for Mother Nature and all the different varieties of life around you, uh, uh, then there's a problem. If you don't have compa compassion and empathy, you're not going to be able to connect. And eventually, there's going to be some serious issues when you grow up. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. They get... They're like, oh yeah, you yeah. come into my house, I'm going to, uh, you, you're on my property, I'm, they have no problem killing a person. Yeah, yeah, they get desensitized, and it starts with killing animals. It starts with killing animals. Yeah, yeah, they, they, get, des they, get, they get desensitized to the blood, they get desensitized to all the pain the animal yeah. feels. When the animal uh, screams out and they're yeah. crying, you know, uh, they're like, okay, if I did this to an animal, how about if I did it to a human being, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, there's no yeah, yeah. Yeah, connection. absolutely, absolutely, yep. Yeah, since I started uh, feeding waterfowl, I don't eat duck anymore. A long time ago, I used to eat duck, especially at, at a Chinese restaurant, no more. I don't do it anymore, yep, jeez. Because now, now I have deeper empathy for uh, waterfowl, you know, jeez. They're so, they're so pretty animals, jeez, yep. Well, nice talking to you. Take care, have fun. Guys, if you all enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get this community growing. I'm gonna visit Nabu, see what he's up to. Hopefully, he's got some more uh, free stuff. Yeah, so the sun set in Seattle. Okay.
Yippee-ki-yay! Gospel of the whoopings must be spreading because these guys have been fed already. That's why they're not as hungry as usual. Sunset, man. I gotta start getting here earlier. Thank you. 